Mr. Ben bought 4 kilograms of soya beans and 5 kilograms of brown sugar. He paid not more than 524 pesos. If a kilogram of brown sugar is 40 pesos, then how much is the cost of soya beans? Hi everyone, this is Teacher Mel. Today we are going to solve problems involving linear inequalities in two variables. The first step is we need to represent the unknown by using variables. Ang gagawin lang natin, i-represent lang natin by using variables ang ating mga unknown. Okay, so we let x be the soya beans and y be the brown sugar. For step number two is we need to write a linear inequality. Our problem says 4 kilograms of soya beans and 5 kilograms of brown sugar. He paid not more than 524 pesos. Ang gagawin natin is translate natin ito into a linear inequality. Mag-start tayo kay 4 kilograms of soya beans becomes 4x. Kasi 4 kilograms, yung 4, and then ang soya beans natin ay x. So 4x. And is plus... 5 kilograms of brown sugar becomes 5y. He paid not more than. Okay, so here are some keyword or something to consider kapag nagtatranslate tayo ng statement into a linear inequality. We have is less than, is fewer, is under. Kapag greater than naman, is more than, is over, exceeds, is less than or equal to, is not more than, is at most, has not exceed, has a maximum value, greater than or equal to, is not less than, is at least, is not under, has minimum value of. So ito yung mga keywords na dapat nating tandaan kapag magta-translate tayo ng mga word problems into a mathematical statement. Or to be exact, linear inequality. Now, mapapansin nyo, naka-highlight yung word na not more than. Okay, hinighlight ko yung word na not more than because based from our problem or yung problem natin uses the word not more than. Ibig sabihin, gagamit tayo ng inequality symbol na is less than or equal to. So, not more than means less than or equal to. 524 pesos. Okay, so we write it this way, 4x plus 5y is less than or equal to 542. Para naman sa ating step number 3 is we need to solve na the linear inequality. Is solve na natin ang ating linear inequality. Okay, so ano yung question? How much is the cost of soya beans? Since a kilogram of brown sugar cost 40 pesos, we let y equal to 40. So, kung ang ating 4x plus 5y is less than or equal to 524, ang gagawin lang natin, iso substitute natin yung value ng y sa ating linear inequality. So, this becomes 4x plus 5 times 40 is less than or equal to 524. Simplify lang natin. 4x plus 200 is less than or equal to 524. Next is we need to subtract 200 to both sides of the equation. So this becomes 4x plus 200 minus 200 is less than or equal to 524 minus 200. Simplifying, this becomes 4x kasi 200 minus 200 is 0. So, si 4x na lang ang natira sa left side of the equation. And on the other side of the equation, 524 minus 200 becomes 324. Now, for us to find the value of x, we need to divide both sides by 4. So, that becomes 4x over 4 is less than or equal to 324 over 4. So, x is less than or equal to 81. Therefore, soya beans cost less than or equal to 81 pesos. 
Thank you everyone. Please subscribe for more math videos. Don't forget to like, share, comment if you have any questions. Once again, this is Teacher Mel.